Hi everybody. I want to talk about what's going on in the world right now. And um, there's a lot of fear being generated. Um, and I've kind of touched base on this on previous uh, videos before, but um, I wanted to go ahead and expand on it because just so many people are, um, you know, living out of fear right now with what's going on with the terrorist um, situation in uh, different parts of the country. Um, in France, and then Orlando, and then the other, you know, shootings that have that happened in Minnesota, and in Dallas, and um, Louisiana. So those are just a few of events that have spiraled over a couple of weeks and months. Um, but I did want to go ahead and talk about um, what we can do as light workers right now um, here in the world to uh, bring more peace and unity um, with everything that's that's going on. Um, we are on a vibrational grid. So the world that we live in, this physical world, the earth, um, the planet itself, um, is um, a manifestation of the divine source or consciousness, and it is energy. Um, basically, the earth is a ball of energy. And every single living being on the, um, on the planet um, is energy and it gives off energy as well. So we're all energetic beings, spiritual beings here on, on planet Earth. Um, there are magnetic frequencies and there's a lot of um, different um, grids um, that are that make up Earth um, and this dimension that we're in. So essentially what is happening with the world right now with everything that's going on um, the best way that I can describe it to you is that um, people, um, let me give you an example. You have a big gl uh, glass window and someone who is angry or upset gets a rock and throws it at the glass window to break it. Well, when they, they aimed that, um, that rock and they threw it, they, they threw it with enough force to um, shatter that glass to, to break it entirely. And what happened when they shattered it, um, different pieces or different fragments of that glass um, broke into different uh, pieces, you know, and it spread all over. That's um, the same thing, you know, I'm using that as an example, but that's the same thing with our energy. When one person in this world does something that's negative or that impacts others, um, which is like the taking of innocent lives, um, that person has has uh, aimed its anger and energy um, at these individuals who are innocent, of course. And in the um, in the event of this happening, what ha has happened is that all that energy is dispersed among our Mother Earth, um, the Earth that we're living in right now. And um, so, let's say this person took some lives, um, like they did in France. He took about 80 or more lives. Um, when he did that act, there was so much anger and um, so many people, and we're like magnets, especially if you're empathic, and we're living on this vibrational grid, so everybody, like I said, has energy. We, and even if you're not an empath, empath, you are affected, uh, energetically speaking. So a lot of these individuals actually um, absorbed a lot of this, and, and, and then it's like a ripple effect. It's not just the individuals there in France only that are being affected, it's also ourselves. Um, when we look at the news, um, we're getting a piece of that energy um, with us, you know, we're taking a piece of that energy and it, it affects us in different ways. Um, and, you know, it, it doesn't matter what method of, of, um, of media you use, whether it's um, Facebook or it's, a, you know, a newspaper or a magazine or a CNN, whatever, net, whatever um, form of, of um, newscast that you're using to, to get, you know, your information or to see the world events, all of that is affecting our energy. And so this is what is causing like a ripple effect in the world right now, and um, so many tragedies are occurring. Um, there's an instability that has been created by this energy, so the earth is not balanced at this time. Um, and in order to get, just like anything, you know, if, if you have glass that is shattered, you know, it can be pieced back together. Um, it will not be the same, but it will still be back together. It's just like puzzle pieces. If you break a puzzle piece, you know, and you mess up the entire uh, puzzle, um, those pieces can fit back together. And that's what where we come in as light workers right now. Um, the best message that I can give is that 
we need to give back to Earth, and what we need to give back is positivity, light, and love. Um, and there's different ways that you can go about doing this. Um, and the first thing, and I always, I know this sounds pretty redundant, uh, but is prayer. Prayer, um, I've always felt and always known that prayer is the most powerful tool. So when you get up in the morning, the first thing that you should do is um, send a prayer out to the entire world for it to heal. It doesn't have to be anything fancy or any specific words, you know, and it doesn't have to be verbalized. It can be something that's internalized. Um, and just, you know, start out with a prayer. Um, praying for the whole world for love, peace, and unity to surround it. The next thing that I would suggest doing is to um, also say something in your mind, like a, a positive mantra of, of thank, thankfulness and gratefulness. Um, when we are grateful for our, our blessings and when we are grateful for what's, what is um, occurring, you know, to see another day here on planet Earth, we're actually healing, and it, do, it may not seem like we are healing, you know, the earth, but we are. Um, and there's, like I said, there's different ways that we can heal the earth. Um, you know, the sec the third thing that I would suggest um, as you're doing, you know, going about your daily um, routines, when you get to your food, um, you know, you want to take the high, absorb the highest vibration of all good of your food. So you need to think, the divine source and Mother Earth um, for providing you with sustenance um, when you are eating your food. I mean, I've kind of covered that in a, an article before. Um, the fourth thing that you should do is when you're out, you know, on, um, out in the world, um, you know, going to the store to work um, around people, you need to shield yourself. And um, you can do this by simply imagining yourself in a, in, surrounded in a white light, kind of like a bubble. Um, and this is basically energ energetically um, protecting yourself and um, from others' energies. Um, the fifth thing that I would like, um, you know, I would suggest for you to do is to clear energy. Um, basically, anywhere that you're at, um, let's say you're going to the store, um, or you're going, you know, you've met somebody um, wherever you were at throughout the day. Um, at the end, before you come home, what you should do is envision yourself. Um, with a white light all around you, and then you should also envision some energy cords um, extending from your heart area um, to that person and then send their energy back. So basically just visualizing all that energy from your chest um, back to them, and it's basically releasing any energy that was uh, absorbed by you from that person and giving it back to them um, because that's not your energy, and anybody's energy can affect you uh, in different ways. Um, the next thing that I would suggest um, for you to do is um, if you're into gardening or spending time out on, um, on earth, you know, on the, out on the, on the grass or out in nature, um, is to maybe um, start a garden or start something, plant something basically. Um, you do need to go ahead and plant something on, on the mother earth so that way um, it's kind of like healing the earth itself. So what you need to do is go ahead and plant something, um, and that will help you. Um, and, and it gives back to Mother Earth. So again, it's very important for you to um, to plant something, you know, if you haven't done any kind of gardening at all. Um, and, you know, there's other things that I can mention. I could go on and on, but there's just, you know, these are just a few examples of um, healing and giving back to Mother Earth. So, um, and giving back to the world itself. So if you have any questions or, um, you know, or concerns, you do need to go ahead and, um, you know, you can send me an email um, at RaymondGooseman at Hotmail.com or um, you can comment on this video in YouTube. Um, if you're tuning in from YouTube, there is a subscribe button on the bottom right hand side um, and just hit subscribe. And if you are viewing this from YouTube um, and you um, want to, you know, get more information on me, you can visit my website. It's www psychicmediumray.webs.com. Again, that's www.psychicmediumray.webs.com. Or if you um, are on Instagram, you can follow me at psychicmediumray. Um, and um, basically, I look forward to, um, to helping you. If you're um, wanting a reading, um, head on over to my website, and I am available. So thank you so much for tuning in, and blessings and love and light.